on Chill Army, Dion Jock 7 here, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Anime Episode Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing Pokemon Journeys Episode 32, Celebi a Timeless Encounter. Before we start off this video, I would just like to point out that 88.2% of you guys watching this video right now are unsubscribed to the channel, so I don't know what that's all about, you know, if you guys are watching my videos every single day and you guys are enjoying what you see, uh, I think that warrants me a subscribe, you know, it's right it's in it's near the description down below you know just click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so you guys will be notified whenever i upload today's episode was fairly intriguing for several reasons chiefly among them the very fact that this is often the first regular episode in series history to not feature ash and pikachu in any capacity but also for a way it looked as if it would put the spotlight on a little adventure from ghost childhood meeting a boy with similar interests as him searching for the mythical Pokemon Celebi. I particularly liked Go being embarrassed to inform Tokyo of his short-lived initial catchphrase of the future already lies in my hands, the way Go kept getting embarrassed and blindsided by Tokyo's questions, and also the little scene where they watched the stars together and thought of the varied Pokemon they made them think about. Focusing such a lot on the first event does almost make the eventual, if expected, the indisputable, the indisputable, I can't speak, fact that Tokyo didn't show up the subsequent day, despite their promise, all the sadder to see. Because it makes fairly clear why this episode left a long-lasting enough impression to Sour Go's view on friendships as seen in episode 3. Seeing Go catching the same Pokemon he met previously and finding himself unable to avoid thinking back to his time with Tokyo was also a pleasant touch because it managed to stay the main target chiefly on the emotional component of the episode whether or not the captures were nearly instantaneous. I was admittedly fairly surprised to see how despite this episode being about Celebi time travel wasn't involved beyond a cameo, but I do feel Tokyo leaving his apology letter to go for having gotten sick at Celebi's shrine uh, worked pretty much on a poetic standpoint with Tokyo saying he would have asked Celebi to be brought back to the past to meet his promise to go if he met if he met it as did him finally reaching to mend things with go at the top of the episode sure but i feel in terms of raw emotion and meaning the episode manages to feel impactful without feeling like it's trying too hard to tug at the heartstrings and overall, while I do think we could have had a touch longer spent within the present section to underscore the resulting pain Tokyo unwittingly caused it to go, it still made for a pleasant look into Go's past, and I'm glad this episode happened. My only true nitpick would be that the Celebi Shrine looks noticeably different than the one we saw back in the original series, though I assume one can and rationalize on a Watsonian perspective as this is another Celebi shrine in Ilex Forest. And that is going to be it for this week's review of Pokemon Journeys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you guys did, make sure you guys smack, it, smack that like button if you want more. And comment down below, did you guys like this episode? Did you guys not like this episode? Please comment your opinions on it down below. And also, subscribe to Deandrox7, you know, I don't just do Pokemon anime reviews, I also do Try Not To Laughs, uh, Pokemon ranked videos, you know, I do a couple Wi-Fi battles here and there, I do Shiny Hunts, you know, I do a lot of Pokemon stuff on the channel, so if you guys are interested in Pokemon content, I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribe and, you know, help me get to a thousand subscribers, we're less than 200 away from a thousand, so I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribe to the channel. Also, uh, I do have a Discord server where we do Wi-Fi battles and trades, so make sure you guys join that, and also consider signing up for my Patreon to support the channel because you know i'm not monetized so it would be cool to get some money for youtube and stuff like that so i can afford equipment for my channel and stuff like that and make my videos better for you guys also follow me on twitter instagram and snapchat uh links to those will be in the description down below and i will see you guys next time only good show army